Shalom, Israel. It's the brother Kadarka Bar here again, and I would like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in Heaven, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, named Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekar Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity, and peace and blessings to the holy leg of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Um, with everything that's going on with the plagues being sent here upon the earth uh, prophecies coming to pass in the midst of all that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is preparing Esau Edom the so called white man for captivity you know the Edomites the nation of Edom is being prepared to, to go into captivity man and eventually to be slaughtered after their uh thousand years of their captivity and these other nations will go into captivity as well but our main enemy is Esau Edom the Edomites and you know we will be delivered from the hand of our enemies you know deliverance from our enemies is coming we just have to remain patient and keep the faith and keep believing and keep trusting in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Remain faithful to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Deliverance from our enemies is coming. <laughs> so this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And it reads, And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, the Israelites us our people did not go into Egypt by the way of ships when it when, uh, we went into captivity into Egypt we didn't get we didn't get there by the way of ships we weren't brought into captivity in Egypt by the way of ships we was only brought into captivity by the way of ships when we were scattered to America and other parts of the world. This is how we know these curses in Deuteronomy 28 fit us, the so called Negro, Latino, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Southern Kingdom and the uh, Northern Kingdom. So, what it say, and the Lord should breathe thee into Egypt again with ships. Made it bondage into slavery again, by the way, of ships. We came over here as slaves in slavery and captivity, by the way, of ships. This is how we got here, by the way, of ships. Let's go to Exodus real quick. Chapter 20, start at verse 1. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Exodus 20 verse 1 in the reads, And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, thy power, thy God, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt is a house of bondage, you know. So when it says in uh, Deuteronomy 28, Verse 68, I shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It wasn't, you know, it's not talking about the old Egypt, the, the over there in the land of Egypt. It's talking about here in America. You know, and, 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 and the other parts of the earth where the Israelites were scattered. You know, we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So the Lord scattered us by the way of the ships to go into bondage, captivity, into slavery. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, bondage, slavery, right? Again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye should be sold. Sold. Unto your enemies. 
for bond man, slave man, and bond women, slave women. And no man shall buy you. Now you'll say, oh, if they were sold, did somebody have to buy them? It's not talking about that. And there ye should be uh, sold unto your enemies for bound men and bound women. When we came off the uh, cargo slave ships, we were sold to our enemies. They did buy us. And no man should buy you. When they say no man should buy you, it's talking about no man should redeem you. The word buy go back into the word redeem. I mean, no man here upon this earth was going to get us out of this situation, out of this captivity. And, and, and never had. Since we got out them slave ships, nobody has redeemed us. The only one that can redeem us is Yahweh Shah. You know, he's the only man. He's not no, just no normal man, you know. He's the one that's going to redeem us. Yahweh is redeeming us through his son, you know. Like, yo, yo. Martha Luther Kings and your Malcolm X's and your Black Panthers and your Black Lives Matters, they haven't redeemed us out of this situation that we in, man. And our enemies, when we got off them slave ships, who were we sold to? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. They made movies about it. It's history. It's, it's so-called black history. With you, you, you. You know, it's, it's everywhere. So you can't deny that we wasn't sold to these, you know, these these Edomites, so-called white race. So they are enemies. Jacob and Esau, you know, East, since the time of Jacob and Esau, Esau always been our enemy, man. He always had a perpetual hatred for us. Let's go to Luke real quick. Try to speed it up. I don't want the video to be that long. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. And it reads Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and have raised up a horn and horn for so like and raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as ye spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So that's what's coming, man. Deliverance from our enemies. Esau, Edom, the so you know, the so-called uh white man, you know, the Edomites, the so-called white race, and, and as well as these uh other nations, man. You know. But Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is our main enemy. You know, Jacob and Esau are the main characters throughout this, this story in the Holy Bible. Throughout the whole book, Jacob and Esau are the main characters. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah movie. We, 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 you know, we in a, his movie right now, you know, a real life movie. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the director. You know, in a, in a nation of Israel and a nation of Edom are the main characters.
verse 71 again, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So we're going to be saved from our enemies. When Yahweh sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, down here by the way of that fathership, that, that, that chariot with, with the holy angels and the rest of the chariots to deliver his, his elect. And eventually all Israel going to be saved, you know, because the two thirds that get destroyed on this side, they will be brought back in the kingdom through the loins of the elect. And they will be saved. They're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments in their inward part. They're going to be good. All Israel going to be saved, you know. But all the two thirds of Israel won't be saved on this side because they not hearkening, you know, they won't hearken unto the words that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They won't hearken unto the prophets that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has sent out here on the highways and byways to preach to them, to teach them his ways. So, but they will come back through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. So all Israel is going to be saved. Let's go to uh, Revelations. So, when the Lord's people get saved, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what's going to happen, you know, with, with the enemies? They're going into captivity. You know, all these other nations that are going into captivity under the Israelites. That our main enemy is Esau, Edom. The Edomites, the so-called white race. Now let's get uh, Revelation 13 and start at verse uh, 9. And it reads, if any man have an ear, let him hear. If you got an ear, let you hear it, these words and understand these words. Right? Verse 10. He that leadeth, leadeth into captivity, into slavery, should go into captivity, into slavery. And who led us into slavery? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know. You got the, 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 the Africans, they had a part in it. You know. Uh, these other nations, you know, like uh, Ishmael, they all had a part in us going into the captivity. You know, so all these nations going to have to pay, man. You know. He that leadeth, leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So Esau, Edom, you have to go into captivity, brother. <laughs> You got to go into slavery, dude. And you will go. And you you Jakes out there, you Israelites that don't, you know, believe this word and you love the white man so much. You ain't got to believe this, but he's going. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And you slaughter us day and night, Esau. You slaughter us day and night. So you gonna get slaughtered as well. After you done serving your uh, your thousand years of captivity, you're gonna be done away with, dude. You're gonna round y'all ass up and, 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 and burn y'all ass down, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, will be chased out the earth. It's not gonna be no need for wickedness in our kingdom. Cause they not they can't get right. They not gonna they can't serve Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. They was created to be the wicked. These other nations was created to serve us and for us to teach the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha to them. And they they not gonna be perfect. They not gonna have the laws and statutes and commandments written in their inward parts. So they're going to go off here and there. But this is why we going to be there to keep their ass in check, keep their ass in line. Knock them upside the head when they go off. You know? 
We're going to be the judges of the earth, man. But Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he can't do right. You know, so it's not going to be no need for him in our kingdom after a thousand years. You're going to serve your punishment and you're going to serve it, boy. And then that thousand years, you're done away with, man. He that leadeth in captivity, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. We must have patience and faith. You know, we have to wait on Yahweh Shah. We have to wait on Yahweh because Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is waiting on his father to get him the green light to come back down here to, to, to you know, bring this place down to deliver his elect. So we have to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The holy angels is waiting patiently. Yahweh Shah is waiting patiently. Yahweh Shah can't wait to come back down here and show his power, man. He, that's why he said, I will not meet thee as a man. He ain't coming back as he did two, three thousand years ago, man. He's not coming back as a lamb. You can push him around and shove him and, and spit on him and kick him and punch him and talk shit. He's coming, he's coming back as a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. So we just have to have continue to have patience and, and and keep the faith, you know, until we deliver from our enemies. Cause it's gonna come. Let me see here. Let me jump down to, uh jump to real quick. down here this is uh revelations 2 verse uh 25 and it reads but that which ye have already hold fast let me read it again but that which ye have already hold fast till i come and we got this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures we got the faith we got the belief you have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we have to hold on to that. You have the patience. Hold on to those things, man. Until Yahweh Shah come. Verse 26. And he that overcometh this trouble, Jacob's trouble, this great tribulation, great sufferings that's coming up on the earth. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So you're going to have power over the nation of Esau, the nation of Ishmael, the, the, the nation of Ham, the, the nation of Ammon, Moab. All these other nations, man. If they not Israelites, <laughs> you're gonna have power over them. You're gonna rule them. With the rod of iron, they're gonna be in captivity, you're gonna be serving a punishment, man. Everybody had their time to rule. Everybody had their they fun. Now it's time for Israel to rule. And this time we rule is going to be forever. Forever. Because you got to understand when we get the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts, we're not going to go off. We're not going to sin. We're not going to die. 
because we got the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. So if we don't sin, we don't die. That means we're going to rule forever. Because the wages of sin is death. But we're not going to taste death because we're not going to be able to sin. But we're going to rule forever. It's not going to be no reason for Yahweh Bashim Yahushat to send us back into captivity because we're not going to go off. <laughs> You know, we're going to keep his ways. <laughs> He's going to program us to keep his ways. You know, verse 27, he, and ye and he should rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter. Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. So. We will, you know, eventually be delivered from the hands of our enemies. Mainly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know, and this is what we have to patiently wait for, brothers. Because it's coming. Those that don't believe we are never, those that don't believe that we are ever coming to power, then let them, don't, let them remain in their unbelief, man. The Lord is going to deal with them. But to you that believe, continue to believe. Let's go to Psalms real quick. Psalms chapter 2, verse 8, verse 9. And we just read about the rod of iron in... Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and uh, 25 and 27. Let's read it here in Psalms 2 verse 8. And it reads, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen, the other nations, for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel so hey <laughs> rulership is coming to the to the to the nation of Israel you know Yahweh Shah is gonna be this is his kingdom he's gonna be ruling his kingdom and we're gonna be joint heirs with him we're gonna be able to rule over these nations with a rod of iron as Yahweh Shah received of his father Yahweh You know, Jeremiah 30, verse 16, and it reads, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All them that, that, that kill us and, and hurt us and oppress us. They're going to be devoured. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be punished. And all thy adversaries, every one of them, all our enemies, man, these other nations, shall go into captivity, slavery, bondage. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. If they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, is preparing, you know, Esau, Edom, the so called white man for, for, for slavery and slaughter. Great punishment, as well as these other nations, man. They're going to be. Going into captivity and, and they go get punished as well. But Esau Edom was created to be the wicked. So he's going to receive. After his thousand years, he's going to receive that slaughter, man, where he's not going to ever be here again. You're not going to see no damn Edomite again after a thousand years. 
and these nations gonna be round up to to witness that. And they gonna fear, man. They go <laughs> they gonna fear. They don't have ain't gonna have no choice. They're gonna see the power that the nation of Israel had. They're gonna be in our kingdom, man. And that's what we patiently waiting on, man. Deliverance from our enemies. We're gonna be back on top. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoiler of they, and all they, so like and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So hey man. That's what we waiting on. Verse 17 for I will restore health unto thee, and will heal thee from thy wounds, said the Lord Yahweh, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion. Whom no man seeker after. Yeah, they say that this this God chosen people, the ones out here shooting each other, drug dealing, and pants hanging off their ass, women putting weave in their hair, shaking their ass on on on, uh, on the camera in front of the children, acting a goddamn fool. This the people. <laughs> that's what they were saying. That's how that's how they look at us, man. Verse eighteen. Thus said the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. Behold. I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be built upon her own heap and the, and the palaces and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. So, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to, you know, have mercy on us and, and you know, eventually de de deliver us from our enemies he's not going to you know bring us back into captivity again this is our last captivity brothers and sisters this is our last captivity let's get uh, Isaiah and then like two more scriptures and I'm ending it off All right. uh, Isaiah 14 verse 21 and it reads Prepare slaughter for his children. Well, let me, slack you. Let me start at the top. Isaiah 14, verse 1. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, because we his chosen people, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and the strangers, the Israelite foreigners. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors who oppresses us Esau eating the so-called white man and these other nations have a hand in it as well you know they set up shop in our neighborhood to keep us you know at a lower state they have a helping hand with Esau oppressing us but Esau Esau Edom the so-called white man is the head you know we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. We're going to rule over them, that all them that hate us. Verse 3, and I will select it. Verse 3, and it should come to pass, meaning it's going to happen, in the day that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, should give thee rest from thy sorrows. Yeah, we're going to be at rest, man, when we, when we enter into the kingdom, man. The kingdom that is going to be here upon this earth. And from thy fear, we ain't gonna fear no more. Cause we're gonna be ruling. We're gonna be in power. We're gonna have them new bodies. We're gonna be like gods, man. We gonna like like we're gonna be many most highs. And 
and from the hard bondage where thou was made to serve. So how about Shmi Yahushua is going to save us from all that. You know. It's beautiful, man. It's, like I said, man, it's what we waiting on. Verse 4. That thou should take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How has the oppressor seized, the golden city seized? The Lord have broke, so like it, the Lord have broken the staff of the wicked. Esau, even the so-called white man, the Lord is, is, is breaking your staff, your power, your rulership. He's bringing you down, Esau. He's bringing your kingdom down. America is falling. And the scepter of the rulers. And who ruled this earth, man? Esau, even the so-called white man. Job 9, verse 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Verse 6. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. And you continue to, to, uh, continue to uh, stroke us with your wrath, Esau. You continue to murder us. You know, you continue to kill us, man. You can you continue to oppress us. He that ruled the nations with he that ruled the nations in anger and persecute and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the earth is going, you know. Rejoice, man, when your ass is out of rulership, Esau. The so-called white man, when your ass is brought down, the earth is going to be at rest. They're going to rejoice and be happy that your ass is out of rulership because you're destroying this place, man. You're destroying the water. You're destroying the air, destroying the land, destroying the trees. You're destroying the animals, flowers. You're destroying everything, man. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedar of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, Esau, since you've been brought down, no feller is come up against us. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so the, joy, the earth is going to rejoice, man. Let me jump down to save some time. Verse 12, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations, Esau? For thou hast said in thy heart, in his mind, I will ascend unto heaven. And you did that, which is, which are, which are, your, your, your satellites and your space stations and you know stuff like that I will exalt my throne I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh which are the Israelites I will sit upon the mountain of the congregation in the in the sides of the north which are the Israelites I will ascend by the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And that's what Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is trying to be like the most high. He's trying to be, he's playing God. He want to play God, man. He want to know everything that you're doing. He want to know your every move. He want to know what you're thinking. He, 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 you know, playing with the, uh, the weather. All type of stuff, man. He wants you to depend on him for all your wants. Yet, this is a... Uh, this is 15, verse 15, yeah. Yet, thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the size of the pit. You're going to be brought in a literal pit, man, in captivity, man. Everybody's going to be brought down, man. You, hey, Esau, slavery is waiting on you. 
Verse 16, they that see thee shall gnarly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms? I'm going to be looking at your ass, man. Like, <laughs> the other nations as well. Like, is this the man is, is, that was ruling? <laughs> Man, oh, be uh, uh, hey, man, to be an Edomite, no. The water to your how about me? I was shot for making me an Israelite, <laughs> you know, for real, man. Verse seventeen that made the world a wilderness. Yeah, cause you destroy everything, man. Cutting down all the trees. You you greedy Esau. You destroying all the land. That's why you your ass gotta you gotta pay for everything that you do, dude. And destroy the cities thereof. And you going around bombing people, bombing their lands and stuff like that. You gotta pay for everything, man. That open not the house of his prisoners. Let me see. Now I can get to verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the earth with cities. So slaughter is coming for you, Esau. At the at the your captivity at the your, your punishment, sir, you're gonna be slaughtered. You're gonna be done away with. Let's read it here in verse twenty-two. For I will raise up against them, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem. I will shot of hosts and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and son, and nephew, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem. I will shot. So. How about Shem Yahweh is going to cut off the males? Because said the sons and the nephews. Let's talk about the males. He's going to cut off the males. Then, you know, how Esau, Edom, the so called white man, going to uh, procreate? So you're going to be going in, you're going to go, uh, you're going to be going in instinct, Esau. And all of them that's left, after all the males are cut off, Hey, y'all is going to be done away with. You know, you're going you gonna to get that slaughter. You know? Said the Lord. So you might say you're going to be done away with, man. Let's see what else can we get. Uh, that's basically it. You know? Prepare slaughter for Edom, you know, slavery, prepare, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is preparing slaughter and captivity for Edom, the Edomites. You know, and he's preparing deliverance for his elect of the nation of Israel. So we have to patiently just, you know, patiently wait on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and keep the faith. You know, so with that being said, I'm ended off with that. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakar Kadash. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.